Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, this is Andy from Big Mac's Workshop and today we're doing some of our own bases. This is the rubble effect ones. And I'm painting them up in a sort of a city style. Now this one is using uh, the Leo Light Rust as a partial base. And it's put on patchily um, as it's going to be only just to create an extra colour depth into the base itself. And I'm just uh, dropping it on in certain areas, in the recesses mainly, as on top of this I'm going to be putting the uh, first coat of, um, of the grey which is, if I remember rightly, it is the Leo Dark Sea Green. Now this is going over the, um, the base as a whole and even over some of the orangey patches. Now this is just to it'll bring the uh, the two colours together really nicely and you get a really interesting effect when you see the two colours together. What it does, it gives you a nice natural stone look and I'm doing the same over the tiles but using cold grey. Now this will uh, give me a nice sort of checkered, pa uh, che checkered pattern on the tiles. Making the, making the tiles look a bit more interesting. And here I am neating the, the tiles up and the black sections with a good old fashioned GW added on black. Now as you can see I've uh, gone over the entirety of the base with the uh, darker grey. And, and you can see that it's not a full coat, you can see still see the red underneath. Now the rubble itself is then dry brushed with um, cold grey and the the shading was put down with an Agrax Earth shade which I'm not sure we've managed to catch on video a second dry brush highlight was put on with a slightly lighter grey uh, than the Low cold grey, I believe a mix 50 50 with pale grey blue and the cold grey just to get a nice contrasted highlight colour. Just really making that uh, rubble edge um, pop somewhat. The white sections were then highlighted with pale grey blue then over the top with a 50-50 mix of white and um, then just touched up with white on the top of that. And as you can see you can do what you want with these. Uh, this is just me messing around trying to uh, do something a little bit different. Um, anyone who's seen my uh, my personal army will know I, do, I, I tend to use sandstone colour on my own, ar on my own army uh, which is using Avalanche Sunset and Zamizi Desert. Now this one, I went for a dry stone wall look and I picked up a really really vibrant green uh, which is an old Panzer Aces colour called Camouflage Green. And it comes up on video quite um, yellowy and that's really how it looks in, uh, in person as well although it does seem to be a lot duller on the, on the video. The rest of the sections were done in the cold grey, uh, mixing in uh, over the top of the green as well, uh, much like I did with the uh, light rust. Just to bring the two colours together, I didn't want too much green in there, because it's only going to be moss. I then did a, um, a couple of washes into it using Agrax Earth Shade and also a green uh, wash from our Army Painter, just the standard green ink. And that gives you a really nice, rich green for the moss, a really deep, deep green in there. Take some of the yellow away. 
and uh, it gave quite an interesting effect on the top. So once both the washers are dried, which took oof, far too long, I then went over with the cold grey on the stonework, uh, just good old fashioned dry brush. There's a nice um, picture of my left hand there, um, because I'm a genius and I managed to uh, move my camera somewhat. So uh, apologies about this particular section. Um, yeah, that's a left hand. Not much more I can say about that really, it's just uh, my hand. So, there we go. We've got two very distinctive bases in the background, in the foreground, sorry, along with uh, the sandstone looking tile behind. A sandstone one is dead easy, Avalanche Sunset, um, Wash with the Meaty Desert, sorry, Dry Brush with the Meaty Desert, and the um, tiles were done with Carrick Stone highlighted through to Skull White by a uh, Bone and Screaming Skull. If you've got any questions, guys, I know it's a very short video. There's not much you can do with a couple of bases as far as uh, fancy techniques are concerned. If you've got any questions, well, give, us a, give us a yell and uh, we'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So thanks for watching, uh, speak to you next time and I uh, hope you have a good weekend. Bye bye.